Bigger is not always better. A hard lesson the world's largest ape had to learn around 100,000 years ago. Gigantopithecus stood at 10 feet tall and weighed up to 500 kilograms, and although its stature would help protect against predators, the giant ape's size was its downfall. The world's largest ape inhabited what is now southern China for between 6 and 9 million years living on a vegetarian diet. Score 1 for the vegetarians. If they were around for so long, why didn't these giant apes make it to 2018? Their cousins, the orangutans, can still be found today, so why not Gigantopithecus? The evidence we have about Gigantopithecus is very limited. The species was discovered in 1935 in a Chinese medicine shop. A German paleontologist found a strange item labeled dragon teeth, which within Chinese culture were thought of as a treatment for some illness. We only know where and when the giant apes lived based on limited fossils, which are mostly mandibles and about 2,000 teeth. All the estimations about its size and diet have come from the size of its jawbone and its teeth, which is remarkable considering the limited resources for study. Scientists have used the available fossils to determine that apes consumed a plant-based diet, mainly fruit. But very little is known about these giant apes compared with other similar species. Most of their remains have been excavated from caves in southern China, but similar fossils have been found in Thailand and Vietnam, which could suggest a larger geographical range than previously thought. A recent study suggests that climate change is not the only cause of modern-day heat waves, but it also caused the extinction of Gigantopithecus around 100,000 years ago. Due to their size, they simply couldn't handle the stress and lack of food caused by their changing habitat. Gigantopithecus was at home deep within the tropical forest, and when climate change during the Pleistocene period caused many forested areas to become savannas, there was a huge decline in the amount of plant matter available for Gigantopithecus to eat. Other similar species developed strongly in large molars and a wider range in their diet, such as the Galata baboon Theropithecus and the hominin Paranthropus. But the giant apes just could not adapt in the same way other species did. Orangutans most likely survived thanks to their low metabolism and reduced dietary needs in times of food shortage. There were still resources that the giant apes could consume, but for some reason they didn't adapt to the new food sources, and as they were so large they couldn't physically adapt to the diet change and lack of food, so eventually they became extinct. Fruit was the main food source for Gigantopithecus, but the change in environment meant there was far less fruit available. The main dietary sources became other plant matter such as grass and leaves. Of course, being bigger does provide some advantages, like being mostly immune to predators. But the larger you are, the more food you need. Studies have shown that smaller, rapidly breeding species are far better equipped to handle changes in their environment. Giant apes and other large mammals such as the woolly mammoth and the giant sloth could not handle climate change in the same way smaller species could. Maybe the thought of 10-foot-tall apes roaming the earth makes the idea of yetis and Bigfoot sound a little more believable. It is possible, after all, that our ancestors encountered these huge creatures roaming the forest. Will we ever know the truth about why they disappeared from the face of the earth? For now, the life of Gigantopithecus will have to remain a mystery. Thanks for watching. Please share, subscribe, like, and comment below.